Hello everyone, welcome back to Outer Crate Primer where we love us somewhat. Transformers. And today we are taking a look at um, Hot Shot. And uh, I gotta say, I thoroughly enjoy this. This is also the mold, as you can tell, that was from the Hound. Um, nice details, nice front, nice paint apps. I love the silver on this thing that looks like it's got a little bit of damage. Scuff marks like it's been uh, mud bogging. Uh, but yeah, it's got nice little seats inside. Uh, the blue really pops. Uh, I mean, honestly, the blue pops better than the green did on this. Um, but it's a very, very nice, nice mold. Uh, it rolls really well. Uh, as rolling things all too. And then you have, you do have head syndrome right there. But, uh, here you go. This is hot shot. Now, I will have to say, I do like the fact that they did paint this red. Mine has a scuff mark, if you can see right there. Let's see if I get there. It is. Um, it came like that, but hey, it's no big deal. It's not not the end of the world. It's not something that you can't just take something, just go right over that and get rid of it. But it is it is that it is a black, and this is painted, and then this is painted. Uh, the reds underneath this, and then the silvers on top of the red and the black. Um, very nicely done weapons. You, he does have places to store them on the vehicle, which is right here on top. You also get this nice little add-on gun, which I thoroughly like. Um, and the fact that they do it this way with, with this attached to the back, I just like that a whole bunch. Um, and it will, it will tab also up here. I love the extra little paint out. I love this gun, the silver. And it, too, has a little point right up here that you can tab that into if you want to. And then you have him all armored up. I did say that I was hoping that Bumblebee, uh, the mold from Studio Series, uh, Bumblebee, the Jeep mode, we would get a hound out of it. But I think with uh, the Siege line, we have a this, this mold here that works really well and will look good. Uh, them coming to Earth is not so much uh, out of the ordinary of being a Jeep on earth so i don't think we'll get a new hound during earth rise i don't think we need to get a new hound or a new hot shot but um here you go very very nicely done very nice details i love the way it looks uh it's just a great figure all the way around so without any delay let's go ahead and start to transform this guy because that's why you're here you're here to see this i've been doing a lot of different videos as you can see uh jokes of the day uh weird facts the reason why is that i want to make sure there was at least a little content that was like 15 seconds to a minute long that as you're sitting and being bored in your house hopefully you'd be at uh autocrit primer and it would lighten your day and make you a little happy um check out my podcast which is uh autocrit primer uh spotify it's also on um what i Apple Podcast. And I think it's called Bleaker or Bleacher. Yeah. I can't, I Anywhere you find a podcast is where our podcast is now. Um, and I try to do a couple of those during the week, so you can check those out. I do have a guest tomorrow night, uh, which I'm very excited about. Uh, we're supposed to be doing a video together, and then it will be the podcast for Thursday on Autocrit Primer ACP Reviews. So check that out, please. We're trying to get to 200. I noticed that we are down five. We were two away. We were at 198. I guess people don't like the content, so they unsubscribed, or just the people that just just don't like the content anymore. And I, I get that. I get it. Too many subscriptions. Yeah. So there you go. So all kinds, all kinds of reasons. So, but yeah, we're still trying to get to 200. And if we do, we're still going to do that giveaway. When we do. Yeah. When we do. Uh, so here you go. Um, very, very excited. Also, we have our book coming out in, uh, in May. So there's a lot of stuff going on. So let's get into his transformation. So the first thing I want to do is, you, uh, as you saw, is I untabbed this piece back here. I'm going to do that. I'm going to come back here and untab this like that. Then I'm going to come in here and pull this up on this side. Come over here, get your finger in there and tap that up. Then from there, then you're going to untab this, and then you're going to untab that from there, and from that, and that, and this, from there. These will start to rock out, 
rock out. And then these will start to fold downward, like so. Downward, like so. And uh, let me see if I can get my camera up a little higher. Sorry about that. The other area is indisposed at the moment. So, but it won't be for tomorrow during the podcast uh, and the video. So then after that, you have his legs down here like so. You're going to untab his arms, rotate them out, rotate the chest piece down like so. And then from there, you're going to roll, rotate this back just like this, just like that. Bring that back. It's going to tab in. The arms will tab up like so. And then down here for the feet, which is very, very simple, which I like. Um, these will come in. Make sure I'm getting it all to rock into the right place. And my brain's not working now. Oh, there we go. And then that's all tabbed in. And there's the foot. Same as that one. And that comes in. That tabs there. And that tabs right there. And uh, then he's done. I mean, very. that's what I like about it. It's a very simplistic uh, transformation. It looks good. That head sculpt is amazing. Love that head sculpt. And it just, it, I mean, this works for him. I mean, the helm mode really works for him. Uh, one thing I do is I do take the gun. I place it in this hand here. And then I take the rocket and I place it in over here. Let's see if I can get it to place in. There we go. And, uh, oops, look at me knocking the camera and everything everywhere. And there you have it. You got him going... Brrr light up the room light it up break it down but yeah he's a very nice nice figure um highly do it if you can get your hands on him you should the arms can go all the way around he does have 90 degree bend his arms can go all the way out he does have a, a bicep rotation and a shoulder rotation uh which is nice uh plus a hand rotation he does have a waist swivel Legs kick all the way up. They can kick pretty much all the way back. And he can get the full splits. His knee has very much nice knee bend. On top of that, you get a nice little rocker for his foot. And because of this, you also get a toe tilt or toe up if you want to. So, and that's part of the transformation, but you can utilize that. Um, I can't say enough about this guy. I'm so glad that I finally got him. Uh, head is on a ball joint and it can go around so to speak like so and uh very very nice um i i'm gonna be honest with you i was very surprised that i actually like this mold a little bit better for hot shot than i did for my hound and i'm a big hound fan so there you go looks awesome looks great highly recommend if you get your hands on it you should now we will be doing uh i will later on be doing a review on ironworks finally got him very excited so stay tuned for that that'll probably be that should be up by next week um so here you go thank you so much as always thank you for supporting us and if you can please like and share and subscribe it, it helps out the channel it helps out the content uh it's just me and nikki we don't have a big push from anywhere else so we pretty much do our big push ourselves so we're trying to get our numbers up and uh it'd be nice to be able to do that it'd be nice to be able to get uh a 200 and um thank you so much for supporting the channel and thank you for doing that and please like share subscribe because when there's only two of you and not a group of you it can be uh time consuming but it is a lot of fun Thanks, guys. As my grandfather always said, hold on to something from your youth. You'll never grow old. Look to the stars. Grab one for yourself. Have a good one.